So before you start, I'd let me introduce myself. Um, my name is Tawan Chun Trajak, or you can call me Jay. We're doing entrepreneurship 16A. Um, my name is Akadesh Shadaku, and my name is A. I'm also doing entrepreneurship in management. Um, good morning again. Today I'm going to talk about the, the smartphone company, the number six smartphone company. His name is Xiaomi. The company was founded, what was started in 2010, the, with a simple concept. The first concept is cost management. That sell the product by their own. The second, they spend zero marketing. The company was founded with uh, the guy named Lei Jun. This is what he looked like. People look like a black shirt. <laughs> Here he is. He is, the people in China call him a Steve Jobs of China. He was born in December 1969, and he graduated from bachelor's degree in science of engineering in, in Wuhan University. The, during his study in Wuhan University, he found inspiration when he read the book about Steve Jobs that one day he wanted to have his own company, the world-class company. After he graduated from Wuhan, he started work at Kingsoft Company. The Kingsoft Company is a software company that creates an uh, office, software like a Microsoft Office. He worked there until he became the CEO of Kingsoft. And at that time, the situation of Kingsoft is not really good. The profit is very low, so he started, and he, he thinks that he needs to change something in the company. So he came up with the idea that he released the software version into version. For example, that uh, free version, they let us try the software first. And if we want more feature, so then we are going to buy the pro version. This also become the new, new business model into the smartphone industry. And here also, the angel investor who behind many company in China, just like uh, like Haka, is a payment method provider uh, that's similar like a PayPal. Uh, jo Joyo Busto and Joyo Busto now is already become the Amazon China. You see browser, is the web browser. Va vacuum, this is the uh, process shopping or live shopping. And since he's work, work, working there for a while, so a lot of pressure on him, a lot of stress. One day he, he take a break and take, and take vacation. And he was start thinking about his dream when he was in, the, when he was in university, that he wants to have a work class company. But how? He lived by himself, by, by his own. So, He's come up with the idea that if you are by your own and you want to achieve a really big successful, just look at the trend and follow it and make it right. So he quit all this company. He quit and start Xiaomi. At that time, it's also the opportunity that Google would not allow in China. So Google would not allow, but the Google team, the engineers, they are still there. So he formed up the company with this team of engineering to start Xiaomi. And then he chose Android, which is the operations system. And it's, it's open source, so it's free for developer to develop. And he is also in, he also in this industry for a while, so he has connection with the supplier about the, the hardware, about the ship. So it would not be difficult for him to start the company. And PJ is going to tell us about how this company climbed into number six of the world without marketing cost, zero marketing. Yes. So when he first started Xiaomi, the company did not go into manufacturing smartphones straight away. Instead, they were focusing on this thing, the software for Android called the MIUI. 
The benefit of Android being open source is that anyone who got their hands on it can modify the look and feel of the operating system. So if you look at an example, Samsung, HTC, Sony, they all look different, but at the back door is still Android. And there are about well, millions of active enthusiastic people who work on it every day. So within this community, after they release the software, they already start talking about it. The MIUI was known to be fast, efficient, pretty, and clean looking. And after that, the company released a rumor in the fan base group that they are going to start making the telephone. So people talk about it, and they shock the world with the specification. Um, I'm not going to go into details about it, but basically, the hardware inside the Xiaomi, tele, um, Xiaomi smartphones is comparable, or if not better, than the top high-end Samsung, HTC, Sony, or even Apple. But it's even more shocking because of the price. The Xiaomi Mi 4 only launched a couple of months ago. The starting price is $350. Compared to Samsung Galaxy S5, launch price about $600 or more. So what happened is the first lot got released in China, sold out within 37 seconds. And the sold out part is what we believe is part of the marketing strategy for this company as well. Let's have a look at what we learned from Xiaomi and Mr. Lei Jun. First of all, everything starts with determination. That he found his inspiration during his study, that he wanted to have a world-class company. It may took a while, but every part that he walked leads into the position that he is in today. Second, famous quote from Steve Shaw, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. Legend did exactly just that. Basically, when Google got into China, the team encountered a lot of problems. Google's work is to exposing people for information, but Chinese government, they always disclose information. So at the end, Google had to, had to depart from China. But the software of Android can remain in China as long as Google services, the browser, Gmail, um, anything relating to information related is not there. Lei Jun was able to use this as an opportunity. He had investment in Kingsoft as an office application. He has UC browser as a web browser and all other cloud services and shopping bases. So this opportunity was able for him to integrate the autos into the Xiaomi platform. Plus, it also um, gave him the opportunity to earn extra revenue from having all this software included in his telephone. So people can buy cloud storage, buying more um, software, or having access to online shopping straight away, right, after you turn on the phone without having to download any more applications. Next, be a cloud pleaser and stay true to the fans. Um, in the beginning, when Xiaomi launches the company and the software itself, they created a fan base group. And the company was able to utilize the fan, well, I say the crowdsourcing, as to gain feedback from the user and what people expect from their smartphone or the software, the features, the functionality. And this is the only company that I've seen so far that took the, the feedback from the end user and integrated that into the smartphone or any software, software revisions that they release. This way, it catches the people's attention and makes the customer feel that they are important for the company. Look at marketing. Um, as say scarcity creates demand, as in when the first lot of every Xiaomi phone launches, it always sold out within a couple of minutes, and the, last, the, the latest one was in 37 seconds. Usually, not many companies decided to test the market like this because, especially in smartphone, you have alternatives. So if you want to the shopping mall, you wanted to buy a Samsung, but it sold out, you have choice to buy LG, HTC, Sony, iPhone. Apparently, people who was looking to buy Xiaomi, they ended up waiting for the next lot. So 
this gamble works for them. I believe part of the, part of the success is because of the lower, the lower cost of the telephone itself. But I think it all contributes to what he has so far with the um, user group that they wanted. Xiaomi is also a very good example of how powerful word of mouth marketing can be. The company does zero marketing in terms of promotion. It does not spend any money in, um, to create advertisement. Everything is purely made of um, uh, word of mouth. And it's not just in China. Because when people talk about it, internet these days, it goes everywhere. And because of that word of mouth, was able to link everything back into the company itself. So people talk about it and continue to talk about it. Even after they start using the phone and what they want, what they expect from the new feature. So next revision, again, will come back as the feed, um, a result of feedback from the user. In the end, that's how we can become success. One more thing. Um, the company already starting to expand um, their market into the global size. So a couple of months ago, Xiaomi officially launched it in India. The first 10,000 units sold out within five seconds. After three or four years of operation, the brand value of Xiaomi is now higher than Nokia. So this is a good example. Whatever you've done so far in the past, maybe take a look, take a step back, have a look, and find the opportunity there, like Legend did. And that's all. Thank you. Um, the, he started this project in 2010, so it's almost four years now. And if you want to look at the phone itself, in Thailand, they're selling it through Lazada.com only at the moment. Um, dot laugh. Actually, last year, one of my, um, my phone broke down, so I was searching the internet. Pantip detective knows everything. And I stumbled upon the um, a forum that discussed about this Xiaomi, the upcoming brand. And because we men, we look at specification and things like that. So the hardware inside and the price was surprising because everything powerful but cheap, you would expect it to fall within three or six months, but apparently the, re the reliability is very good. Actually, Legion started out with cost leadership as a strategy, but right now, every presentation that he does with a new product, he always shows the innovation, how his manufacturing plant is equal or better than, I and than Apple. So that will be another interesting to look at as well. Um, at the moment, not that we heard of. E everything is done through online, no retail shop at the moment. And India is also online, Thailand is online, Singapore is already online. For America, I think you have to order it from China and ship it over. But Southeast Asia is, a, is the next target to come, so you should see it soon. You have to send it back to Lazada. <laughs> Basically, the only solution that you can get is online. There is none of the physical store of Xiaomi. For now. Any other questions? No, and I would like to say thank you very much to all the presenters. <laughs>